We are always looking for that next musky fix to quench that burning desire to find those unexplored, untapped places. These unexplored wild places, well, they do exist. Here we go! Keys Outdoors Musky Hunting Adventures is brought to you by Great Clips, the Skeeter Boat Center, Ingle Coolers, we're off on another adventure, Cass Lake, third leg of the PMTT, going to get some coffee here at Quick Trip and uh, hit the road. Here we go again. Quick Trip. With Cave Run and Eagle River under our belts, we were off on the third and final qualifier for the PMTT. Missing two fish in the first two events, it would all come down to Cass Lake event for Dave and I. And if we don't do good here, well, we won't be moving on to the 2017 World Championship. With the whole season on the line, we called in reinforcements, our good buddy Ben Olson, to lend us some help. I've only fished Cass Lake one other time, many years ago. And Dave, well, he's never fished this lake. Ben, on the other hand, he's fished it several times and has done very well here. Here we go again. Why does it look like that boat's on fire? <laughs> Go faster! Yeah. Put it out! Try to outrun it! The only problem was, well, he could only fish one day. Working in about four to five feet of water, Ben, well, he was throwing a Musky Buster AP, all white glide bait. That one day, well, it turned out pretty good. We didn't land any muskies, but we had several to the boat, and one was a giant. First morning for Mike and I, I'll tell you what, we need a fish badly to continue on into the World Championship and uh, we're hoping to get that done uh, right away this morning. That would really feel good for us. I mean, we're on some fish. We haven't had any like crazy uh, action as far as really aggressive fish, but we've been seeing fish. So that's a good thing. We know where there's some fish at and we're gonna go after some right away this morning and just do what we do. We go fishing and we go, go, go plug away hard. So uh, continue with us here this morning on our journey and uh, hopefully we're gonna, we're gonna light them up. The weather that day was 68 degrees, mostly sunny with winds out of the southeast at 25 miles an hour. Day one, our plan was to hit a large weed flat on the way out to our spot we are going to spend the whole day at, Dead Man's Reef. 
a huge shallow flat complex with huge rock bars scattered throughout the flat, surrounded by deep water. A perfect combination. Hey, here we are, day one, Cass Lake PMTT, and it's what we thought, we talked about it. It doesn't have giant numbers, but it's got big fish. We're into about an hour, skies broke, it was cloudy this morning, you're breaking, fish are going. Three over 48 already, heard of a double, one big one, like 51 inches, seem to be going pretty good. We're way up on the southeast corner of the lake, Mike and Dave are on the other end, let's throw it over to them and see how they're doing. We were on fish all that morning. Getting them to eat, well that seemed to be the problem. The lures that we are having most of our follows on that day were bucktails, glide bait, cranks, and rubber. Guys, it's 12.30. Day one of the PMTT, Dave and I started out fishing weeds. We moved a fish there, we moved over to Dead Man's Reef. This is where we spent a lot of time pre-fishing. We moved and seen some monster fish here. We've had up a couple fish here, but no eaters. So we're just gonna play it out. We finally got what we wanted here is the wind. The wind is picked up and on this reef, that's always a good thing. So we'll see what happens here, but we've changed up lures, presentations, trying to get these girls to eat and no success right now but uh, hang with us I think we're gonna we're gonna stick one here shortly having several muskies to the boat well that would be all Dave and I could muster up on day one man we seen a couple giants and had several fish to the boat only to come in hard and turn away at the last minute at the boat water clarity well, it was about 10 to 12 feet we were fishing super clear water and that's always tough. Third leg of the PMTT, day two. For Mike and I, I'll tell you what, we need a fish bad. And uh, we're hoping that this overcast skies is gonna make a difference for us. Uh, the fishing here has been really tough for Mike and I. Uh, it's really clear water, you bring these fish to the boat and I'll tell you what, they just veer off. But in this overcast skies, little uh, chop on the water, we're gonna, we're gonna go after them and we're on fish and we're, we're excited to see what today's gonna bring. On day two, not only did Dave and I have to struggle with the muskies, but with filming as well. Heavy on and off rains, well she'd stay with us all day long, making it very tough for us to shoot footage. Day two of pounding the water, well it would only show us fish. No eaters. For only the second time, I would have to sit out the world championship. Second place, guys, congratulations, nice. 
in first place with the double, a 44 incher and a 51 and a quarter incher, taking on grandma's big fish of the day yesterday. Total of 189 points, $14,100. Scott Walker and Nick Turek. This year's PMTT World Championship will it be held on Lake Minnetonka, known for its mansions and muskies, covering nearly 15,000 square acres. PMTT World Championship is the top 35 teams from the three qualifiers held earlier this year. event of 2017 Ranger Boats World Championship right here on Lake Minnetonka. This is it folks. I'm telling you, this is what you've all, you've worked, you've planned, you've fished. It has cost you a lot of time and money from the beginning of the year, but we're here. This is it. The PMTT Ranger Boats World Championship. Here we are, PMTT World Championship on Lake Minnetonka. It's crazy, look at this weather, t-shirt and shorts. It's been really warm this week. It's gonna affect the fishing a little bit. Temperatures have been in the mid to upper 80s all week. It's warming the water, so instead of going like in a fall pattern, these fish are gonna be moving up shallow. The guys have been getting them. Most of them have been here pre-fishing all week trying to come up with a pattern. Got the top 35 teams out here itching to go. Let's let them loose and see what happens today. PMTT World Championships, Lakes Minnetonka. Let's go, Muskie Iron! Woo! Blue on the bump board, guys. Good morning, guys. Blue on the bump board. Blue. Good morning, guys. Blue on the bump board. It wouldn't take long and we would come across our first PMTT team. Quarter. Nice. Way to go, guys. Nice. Woo! Release. There we go. Yeah. We Don't go. really want to start the tournament. We're going to keep rolling here. We'll call you in, uh, in another couple minutes. All right. <laughs> Sounds good, man. I like the optimism. Did you put it back already? Here we are, day one, PMTT World Championship, Lake Minnetonka. We got a little overcast, which is great because the weather's gonna be hot today. They're talking about weather up close to 90 degrees, the water's in the upper 70s, it's unheard of. We're only into it about a couple hours, but it's been slow. Getting some fish caught, but it seems we're up on the east end, and this lake's a big lake, almost 15,000 acres. I know Mike and Dave have been up by the guys getting fish up on the west end. Let's throw it over to them and see what they got. Weeds seem to be the theme for many anglers, throwing blades and topwater.
here we are, mid-morning, get a little bit later. There's been some fish caught. The good thing is the guys that are on them seem to be on them. Top 35 teams, we got a couple of doubles already. I'm hearing a guy that got a triple also. It's a little mixed up, but it seems like the way this lake divides up, it's a little bit darker water, more west, and definitely north. I know Mike and Dave were up there again. We'll throw it up over there, see if they're getting anything. Our main focus would be the team of Matt Raley and Nate Osfer. These guys, well, they've been tearing it up on the PMTT for the last couple years. And once again, they find themselves right smack dab in the middle of a world championship. Both nice fish, guys. We have 42 and 3 quarters and a 40. Nice. What's what what your game plan here, buddy? Uh, game plan is try and get them uh, moving blades pretty quick. We've had uh, decent luck uh, pre-fishing with brighter colored blades. Uh, did not have much action at all, but uh, we did have a friend get one, uh, one in the net and uh, moved a few others, couple big ones. But cool body of water, but a lot to, a lot to learn in a few days. Um, we were feeling a, a little unprepared coming to this, but kind of figured we'd stick to some of the darker, smaller water and try and maybe grind out a few smaller fish and maybe luck into a big one. Um, but we paying off so far. Do a lot of pre-fishing? Oh, we did a couple days. It's a lot of water to learn in a couple days when you've never been here before. Looking for muddy water? Yeah, I mean there's a handful of lakes that's got dark water. Usually this time of year, fish like to slide up shallow. They were even shallow on clear water, just when it's such clear water on a lot of the lake. It's just hard to get them when it's bright sunny skies, you know. If we had whether what they originally called for, our game plan might be a little bit different, but since with these high skies, the best way to catch fish is in darker water. So that's what we came to. And, you know, there's a couple lakes like this out here. We're gonna see how long we stick it out in this one, but we've had quite a bit of action. So it might be hard for us to move. Plus the, the run distances in between all these lakes it can be quite long, so. Just have to see what when we get out of here. Another thing we're thinking about is all the way up here, the boat traffic probably is going to be quite as bad for us today, so kind of get away from that. Even uh, first couple days of pre-fishing wasn't bad, but when it got hot on Friday, uh, yesterday afternoon was pretty crazy. Um, just even trying to navigate, there are so many boats out, and uh, much less fish in all the way. So I'll kind of get away from some of that back here as well. We kind of tried to look for the nasty, nasty water. Other guys don't want to fish. You guys move a lot pre-fishing? Uh, we saw a couple real big ones on clear water, but we just couldn't get them to go. Um, so we did come up, we did stick one in dirty water during the middle of the day. So that was kind of a good indication of where we could get bit during tournament hours. So we've had, I don't know, two, three different people from around the area that said, you know, the bite's been real good on the clear water, but it's been after dark, so. Dave and I, we just left Nate and Matt when our phone lit up. They got their third fish. And this one, well, it could be the fish that seals the deal for these two awesome anglers. 46. Quarter, 46. 46 and a quarter. Nice, that's good. Yeah. Now, right. it was it time to find out oh, yeah. who would win that, that's the fine. 2017 yeah. PMTT yeah. World Championship. Two championships would be crowned. One would be for the Top Gun Team of the Year. 
This most coveted award goes to the most consistent team throughout the season. And then the World Championship. Which one of the 35 teams will be crowned the 2017 PMTT World Champs? All right. On behalf of the PMTT Ranger Boats, I'd like to welcome everybody back here to World Championship. You know, it, it was it was an exciting event, always is, putting you guys together on body of water, especially the tops for the year, it's outstanding. Top Gun, team of the year, third place team, free events, second place, two free events, third place, or first place, all free events. Uh, You'll be your numbers for every qualifier next year. In third place, with 467 points, Matt Raley and Nate Osberg. <laughs> with 482 points, Mark Lejeski and Jeff Piazza. And in first place, will be first place in all qualifying events next year. The only team to catch a fish in all four events this year. Total of 606 points, Chris Reby and Matt Snyder. and a 42 inch are taking on top waters total 110 points two thousand seven hundred sixty four dollars bill taylor and don hazelson with the triple a 40 and a quarter a 40 and three quarters and a 40 and three quarters taking on rubber baits total of 199 points five thousand nine hundred twenty four dollars Chris Parton and Nick Cost with the 40 incher, a 42 and a half, and a 46 and a quarter, taking on East Sox Assault Bucktails, total of 227 points, a brand new 2018 Ranger 619 FS Fisherman 50th anniversary, Ranger trailer and powered by Mercury Optimax, Ranger PMTT Ranger Boat World Champions, Nate Asper and Matt Rayley. Okay. You always yell at me for not ready. Yes. I know. Ah, yeah, they're, they're stuck. Over there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> there we go. Well, everybody, that concludes this year, PMTT. I say it all the time, Tim. We're fishing with some of the best anglers this country has to offer for musky fishing. Great bodies of water. And if people would like to participate, join us and test their skills against these guys, what's the best way for them to do so? Just go right to our website at promuskie.com. Also, there's a direct link from over on Mike's site also. I'll tell you what, till next year, I'm Mike Keys. I don't know where I'm gonna be, but I guarantee you this, like always, it will be an adventure. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next year.
PMTT 20th anniversary, we are celebrating with the mega tournament on Lake Vermilion, Minnesota. First place payout of $50,000 with over $120,000 in cash payouts, but limited to the first 100 boats. When? September 14th through the 16th, 2018. This is huge. PMTT mega tournament. Learn more? Go to ProMuskie.com. Keys Outdoors Musky Hunting Adventures has been brought to you by Great Clips, the Skeeter Boat Center, Yamaha, reliability starts here, Ingle Coolers, and all of our other KO sponsors. Make sure you like us on Facebook, join our Keys Outdoors YouTube channel, and follow us on Instagram.